Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Pope's Worldwide Prayer Network. And in today's Gospel, from the end of chapter 8 of John, the adversaries of Jesus pick up stones to kill him. Why? They accused him of blasphemy because he said, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. That expression, I am, is the divine name that God revealed to Moses from the burning bush in the desert. It was a name so holy that no Jew pronounced it, and when it appeared in writings, a code was substituted for it so that it would not even be seen, much less spoken. In saying this, Jesus revealed his divine identity, which most of the people of his time rejected. In using these words for his name, God is telling us that he is eternal and that he is to be found in the present moment. He didn't say, I was, and while we can find his activity in the past, he isn't there. He didn't say, I will be, and while he indeed promised to be with us in the future, he isn't there either. He said, I am, because here, right now, in the present moment, God is found. Hopefully your Lenten practices of fasting and prayer are making you more conscious of God's presence in your life. God doesn't want you dwelling on the past, except insofar as you see his blessings and care for you and grow in faith. God doesn't want you worrying about the future. He wants you to surrender it to his care. The past is over and done. The future is unknown, for you can't guarantee that you'll even be here tomorrow. All you really have is the present, and that's where God is.